Welcome to State Tech. Let's take a look at how to change default apps on your Note 5. So I'm going to come into my settings and then I'm going to swipe over to my device tab. I'm going to tap on applications and then I'm going to tap on default applications. Here I can set defaults for my home and messages and I can also clear defaults for other applications. So what clear defaults for other applications means is that whenever I have a YouTube link, I have it set to open up in YouTube. Whenever there's a Google Play Store link, it's going to open up in Google Play. Same thing with photos, maps, directions, my home, and even videos. So I can also clear these. So if I wanted to clear them, just go ahead and tap clear. And it's clearing all my defaults. Now you see my defaults for even the home is my Android system. But if I tap in here, I can choose TouchWiz Easy Home or TouchWiz Home. Or if you've installed a third party launcher from the Google Play Store, it'll show up here as well. And then I can also choose Messages. These are going to be my default messaging apps. I can choose Messages, which is the default one with the actual Note 5. Or I can choose Google Hangouts to use as my default messaging. I'm going to be asked to confirm that choice and then tap OK. So now whenever I get a text message, it's going to show up in Hangouts instead of the default Messages app. Now the way that you might set this up, you didn't even know that you were doing it, is by coming in and we're going to open up a link. So I've got a link here. I'm going to try and visit a web page. Notice it's asking me, do I want to use Internet or Chrome? If I tap on Chrome, it's actually going to tell me that it's going to remember that preference for next time. Go ahead and tap OK. And now the link will be opened up in Chrome. Now if I come back into my settings, notice down below my default, Chrome is now there. So this lets me know that whenever I tap on a web link, Chrome is going to try and open and it's going to open the link in Chrome. And now when I try and open up a video link, it's going to ask me where I'd like to go. And that might ask me a few different times whenever I open up some new links. But once you've used your phone for a while, you will stop seeing that message less frequently and you'll be able to come in here and clear defaults if you wanted to. So that is how to change default apps in your Note 5. For more Note 5 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.